you know what I'm doing, don't you? Like, I'm just you... searching for a place to break the game. <laughs> I thought you were doing tail whip. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that too, I guess. <laughs> and I guess because it's the namesake of the character, that's like his signature move, too. <laughs> yeah. That'd be the worst signature move ever. Like, it just lowers the opponent's defense by one stage. When I know how, what tail whip is actually supposed to be. Yes, you explained this to me once. It's, um... Like, it's not like you're actually hitting the opponent with your tail and it's like staggering them and taking them off balance. No. It's like you're just looking endearing and they're like, aww, that thing is adorable. And, yeah, it, and like, it puts them off guard. It's like then you they, bite them in the face and apparently their defense is still down. It's like, oh, I, th I can forgive you for that. Exactly. It's very much just shaking, it's just doing a little butt wiggle in front of them. The Pokemon is just twerking in front of them. <laughs> I mean, with like an animal Pokemon, just a little cute little tail wag. All right, with... we, we were talking in the last episode about Trump being a supervillain. What if he was oh, the he... leader of Team Rocket? Okay, I would actually enjoy a, a Donald Trump Team Rocket member. You encountered a wild Nicki Minaj. <laughs> we'll defeat the Trump with the power of music. I think Nicki Minaj and and uh, I can't believe I forget her name. Uh, Go, Miley Cyrus. Well, Miley use tail whip. Hmm, she doesn't have the tail for it. <laughs> <laughs> there. Nikki laughs as she wins the battle of the bulge. Yeah. Shoutouts yeah, to Dragon we, Quest Eight, by the way. Yeah, Nikki's kind of got. She's kind of got the. The assets for it. Oh, I missed the jumps. <laughs> I've got a picture to send you. Okay. You're not gonna tell me what it is. You're just gonna it's... leave that one hanging. Yeah, Tails. It's... I almost pulled a Sonic 06 there. I was almost snowboarding up the mountain for a second. I can see that happening. I can see that happening. Thankfully, this game isn't programmed that badly. For a second, thought you were going to say, thankfully, this game isn't that good. That wasn't too bad. I mean, okay, I keep harping on Sonic 06 like most people do. And that game and this game, it all really depends on what you're looking for. Like, if you go into it knowing that it's got problems but you enjoy them regardless. It's just like, you know what, I, I accept that not everything's going to be perfect. In fact, most things aren't going to be perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I can appreciate them, though, is the thing. Like, as long as you can appreciate bad design and you're willing to laugh at it, you should be okay. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the way he phrases that too, the emeralds you have, not the emerald pieces, the emeralds. Oh no. Oh no. Yoko, oh no. Oh no. Apollo, oh no. Give it your oh no. <laughs> By the way, where was Sonic in all of that? Uh, hold on, pan the camera over a little bit. <laughs> I can't, I have no control. He's... There's gotta be hacks like that. Like, it, in cutscenes that just let you move the camera around freely, look at whatever you want during this. I love games that actually give you that kind of control, like there's a little cheat, like you hold one of the shoulder buttons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to hide something. I want to do a game that has that, and I want to use that power to hide something in one of the cutscenes. I want to hide little story details. It's like, once you unlock the ability to do this, and you can actually look around, you it's one of those things you go back and it changes compl not only how you view the cutscenes, but also all of the details you can see. You realize that maybe things weren't quite as they seemed from the very beginning. I feel like you could have a lot of fun with something like that. 
No, this is Chaos 2, I just realized. Like, we see, um... We manage to... We see oh, Chaos... We fight Chaos Zero, we fight Chaos One as Knuckles. We, um... We see Chaos 2 for a brief glimpse. Yeah, and then we skip straight to Chaos 4. So it's Chaos 3 that we never see. We never see the halfway point between man and fish. We never get to see Mermaid Chaos. Mermaid Chaos and Barnacle Anarchy reunite! <laughs> I love how Tails, one of his attacks in this game is just like sending sending himself hurtling into the enemy while it while in his flying animation. Speaking of Pokemon, it's like Tails used body slam. Tails used cut attack. It's super oh my god, he killed that guy. <laughs> oh. He split that Arbok in twain. <laughs> If, if if all Pokemon could talk like me, ask, Oh God, why? It was more like, Oh Arceus, why? <laughs> eh, no, Tails, hit him. Thank you. I feel kind of bad defeating bosses like this as quickly as I do, because it always makes me think, Hey, they've got to have more attacks. There's gotta be more strategies to this thing that I'm just not seeing because I'm being too efficient. Well, you know, optimal player strategy is very much just you know, press the A button and you know, you look good, dude, look good. You know, just stay in the air. That's Tails' strategy, it's just like keep flying. Just keep flying, just keep. Flying, fly. You see the game, th the film theory that Dory's actually just faking short-term memory loss? I have not yet, but uh, just, I haven't had the time to see it. It looks interesting. It's, it's interesting. I like the concept. By the way, guys, have you seen my ship yet? It's gorgeous. I made this gigantic CG cutscene to show it off, too. You see those textures? Those are going to look like mud in a second. But man, are they beautiful now. Take a look at my ship. My ship is amazing. Give it a lick. It tastes just like Polly Account. <laughs> okay, speaking of old school images, do you remember, like, back during Web 1.0, I guess we would call it that phase of the internet where most people didn't even know what YouTube was? Oh, yes. It's, uh, do you remember back when images just straight up wouldn't load? If your internet connection wasn't good enough, like, they'd stop loading halfway through, the rest would just be a white box? Mm-hmm. And this was a real hassle back before you could easily go to certain image galleries and find the kind of materials you were looking for. Basically, if you wanted... If you wanted like to find a, fa a fan service shot or fan service bit of fan art of your favorite anime character, there was no damn Boro, really no Google search. Well, there was Google, but it was hard to find stuff back then. Yeah, so Yahoo was, was still a main competitor in the industry back then. Same with Ask Jeeves. So I go. Oh, six. what what was that site with the dog, the Dalmatian? Um, it was a really popular search engine for a while. Uh, Dogpile. Uh, yes. that, that was it, Dogpile. Holy shit. I wonder if that's still around. Um. Dog, yeah. Dogpile search doc, dogpile.com. Huh. Well, how about that? They're still hanging in there. Oh. I'm sure they get significantly less traffic than they used to. Yeah, I'm looking at... I'm just searching for... Random pictures of dinosaurs, and... The, the big window of images is not as gigantic as you get with Google, but... Still, it's sizable. They gave me... They found me an image of a Magikasaurus. Ah, uh, my childhood... What are we going to do next? Start talking about Yotsuba? Ah, uh, Yotsuba. So, I... Yotsuba is one of my favorite manga. Because... I love the incredibly detailed backgrounds. 
No, what am I thinking? No, that that was the 4chan mascot that came later. Like, Waha? Oh, the little, the little cat girl? No, she's not like a cat girl. She's got sort of like a... Oh, it's so hard to describe this character. She's got like a... Um, a head wrap, kind of, around her head. She's always... She's always got her eyes closed, her wide smile. She's like a little kid, too. Oh, does she have a W on her head? I... Don't think so? Does... I just remember she showed up on 4chan way back in the day. Like, not many people reference her these days, but damn it, she was one of the first, um... Characters that people legitimately made fan art of. She was kind of like a mascot back in the day. Let's see. Well, then I'll find this. 4chan mascot. <sighs> anyway. Sorry, I got nothing else to talk about. Like, this is basically the exact same shooting stage we were in before. Ah, well then. Allow me to fill the gap. Oh, hey, Ebola-chan. Was that your mascot? No. I mean, we had Nevada-ton for a while, but that's a that's an entirely different story. Let's see. Speaking of local tragedies. Oh. Um. Uh, oh, did oh yeah, here we go. So. Yeah, she. Um, yeah, she had. What did she? Did it? Did she? Did, she's got a did long have... striped sleeve shirt. She's got sort of like a little dress thing over it. Oh no, I'm looking at a girl with like a little angler hat. Hmm. So then, uh, okay, I'll just go back to talk about E3 then. While I search for this elusive mascot. Look on Encyclopedia Dramatica. You'll probably find her in the memes section under the subcategories. I love how I type in Encyclopedia and just Encyclopedia Dramatica is the first thing that comes up. Yeah, even before Britannica. Like what the name is based on. Wait a second, the plane just switched directions! Did you catch that? Yeah, that was pretty egregious. <laughs> you know what the best part about this scene right here is? What's this that? is sort of a how they met moment for Tails. Yet he still has the jet boot upgrades we picked up in the future. It's like, you know what, I'll just leave these here for safekeeping in case I ever need them. Well, yeah. He's basically... Sonic, I wanna be your friend. Get away from me, loser. I'm too cool for you. And, he, al and he also has the mystic bracelet. Sonic, why do you always go where I can't follow? Ugh. Man, I never so really took a good look at the ground texture before now. Now I understand why nobody... Why the camera angles don't usually focus on it. Yeah, it kind of just looks at, looks like Tails is laying on a very dirty green rug. Mm -hmm. Also, what's with that s Whoa! That was not a good-looking skybox right there. Oh, uh, well, uh... That see? was literally pixels for a second. Yeah. And I'm not talking about the movie. Thank God. Oh, yeah. Well, I think Pixels was a good movie. No, you I, don't. I, I don't. I actually think it was terrible. I actually thought it was horrible. Alright, so, one other thing about the fight we were just in. Just really quickly. Uh, hmm. This lake is a lot more shallow than I remember it being. Also, fewer lily pads. Well, uh, uh, what you see is... Uh-huh. Man, um... What am I, what am I saying? Uh... Uh... I'm waiting! You, what you see is just everything melting around you, is what you see. Also, now That's that we've... See. Now that I've pushed that switch, give it some time. This will, this thing will come to the shores eventually. I'm just gonna live up to the name of Tornado here for a second. 
You spin me right round, baby, right round. Like, like a, a Sonic, baby. Right round, baby, right round. Now the big question, how the hell do I get out of here with this thing? Oh, I guess that's why the platforms are there. My god, Tails loses a lot of his upward momentum when he's carrying something. He can only fly with him. He can only fly by himself. No, he can't. He can carry Sonic in in all of the in two entries before this. Well, you see that Ruby weighs a lot more than Sonic. <laughs> I mean, it is an entire I mean, it's like the size of his body and it's made of silver. Yeah. Oh wait, that's the wrong uh, minecart. Silver the Hedgehog. Who is Silver the Hedgehog? No trains are currently in service. Kind of. Again, I haven't played Sonic 06 to extent. I know what his story is, basically. Want to know what he was inspired by? Uh, Trunks. Yeah. I mean, it's not hard to draw the parallels. It's like he goes back in time to fix the future. He has all of these strange powers that the other people don't understand. He's, he's got that much. he's got that very enigmatic hairstyle. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a Ooh. We have a silver chow. Let's throw it over that fiery ridge. <laughs> and I think that's actually a good note to end this off on. So next time on Team Pizza Plays uh, Sonic Adventure DX. We kill somebody. Do we? Preferably Dr. Robotnik. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. That, that's what we kill. Dun 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 dun. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Bum ba da ba da. Learn how to code, you bastards! <laughs>